So welcome to the Super Mega Power Wall. We're gonna be combining 18650 lithium batteries together. The biggest power wall on YouTube that I've seen. So these are a lot of cells. It's taken over a year to combine these, testing them, charging them up. In this video, we'll be putting them all together into a 14S 48 volt lithium pack. So hit the like button, subscribe. So I'm starting to clear this, clear these batteries out of here. As you can see, I got most of them out there already. Trying to get a good count of what, what's going on because uh, with them all stacked up there, as you're seeing, it's kind of hard to get a count. So as I get them down, I'm taking the tally and we'll have a uh, total here shortly. Indirect tactics, efficiently applied, are inexhaustible as heaven and earth. All right, so I got all the batteries out here. And as I was bringing them out, I went ahead and took a tally of them because I kind of had like a rough estimate. But you see how they're all stacked up on top of that thing. I couldn't tell because some of them are uh, in packs of 70 and some of them are in packs of 80, 100, 120. And so here's a uh, here's a tally. All right, so these are the gray and pink cells here. Oh, these are the, uh, I think they're LG purple. And there's also some blue like knockoff ones, but they're technically the same battery. So these are the modem batteries batteries for the like the four pack and the eight pack that we got for battery hookup for 50 cent a piece and these are the ring cells and I believe this should be close to about 1500 1600 I think it's 1600 on the ring cells and then I've got some two or three hundred of these laptop batteries but I'm not going to use them because they're kind of all over the place you know 18 19 I, I might use them if I need to fill them in tally these up and I'll get back with you so I did the totals on here for the ring cells we got 1490 for the modem packs we got 1080 blue and purple lg cells we have 1150 and for the 2600 lg gray and pink cells got 2870 batteries for a total of 6570 batteries that's a shit ton of batteries so divide that by 14 since we're doing a 14s pack and it comes out to 469 batteries per series connection. Holy all right, so we've got everything, all the batteries. There's some ring batteries back there. Those are the LG gray and pink ones I was talking about. There's all the uh, purple cells. Uh, there's the blue ones I was talking about on the end. Those are the modem batteries there. Those are the 2200 modem cells. There's that. A ton of those uh, gray and pink cells there everywhere. All right, so let me bring you up here to the top to the cell yes. holders. These are all the 20 piece holders, six by four. So when we do the math on that, we have uh, it's 120, 240, 360, 480, right? So we're going with 480 and I'm gonna try and fill this whole thing out. So what we're doing is since this is, uh, the original size was gonna be like this one here. So this was uh, my original calculations my original was 320 after doing some math uh, i had more cells than i thought and so now i'm having to bump it up to like 400. so since i made all these racks here i'm having to go back and change it change it to this here i'm having to add add that extra row so fun stuff i changed it up a little bit on the uh you know that this one over here is kind of a big square and it, as you can see it doesn't go all the way across this rack and I wanted to try to distribute the weight both ends of the shelf. That way it kind of helped you know, distribute the load across the shelf. And the only way I could do that was to uh, not as tall and make it longer. And by putting them in this configuration, it catches, I mean, just the, there's like half a cell hanging over on each side. So I use, put these together. I got my trusty rubber mallet. These things are tough because there's different, different brands and they're not, I guess they're not the same all the way across, so I'm going to take this out down to the floor and uh, give it a little whack across the seam. There you go. Now we have a uh, full length. All right, stand by. I'm going to put the rest of these together, and I'll be back. Man, sometimes these things can be a pain in the butt to get a get apart, especially once you beat them together. But with a mallet and a little bit of, you know, something of a ledge, Another one. And, uh, I'm gonna be drilling holes. I bought, you know, some sample sizes of different lengths. 
and I now know that to be able to put all 14 batteries across this section here, this is, this is the other half of that rack I'm using. So I might even double this shelf up with two of those shelves on one, kind of give it some more support and with a brace underneath it. Yeah, these are three inch stainless steel quarter 20 bolts. So on one side, there's going to be a, a washer like this, and this will fit up around the, uh, the little square on the head there. And what that does is it fits down. So see these squares right here? That'll be where the hole fits in. That gives me just a little bit extra hanging out there. And that square will fit in the hole. So it, it'll it's almost like having a wrench on this side. Then on the other side, uh, we'll either have one of these black washers. All right, so I got an idea. So I'm thinking instead of using repacker for 6,500 cells, I'm thinking we just I'm gonna take this number here, divide it by 14, because all of these cells that I bought are all damn near new old stock. Like they're, they all tested perfectly. And if they didn't, they're not in here. They're in another pile that I have. They were bad or they tested way lower than the rest of them. We're gonna take this 2870, and we're going to divide that by 14. 205 cells of the gray and pink ones on each uh, series connect. So here's my pack of uh, cell holders. I really don't have enough room to do it all so I can you know, lay them out and start putting, putting them together that way. Now we need to figure out where we're gonna put these holes at that are gonna do the best at holding this thing together. Now I got these lined up as best as I can. It's kind of hard. There's like a, a bow to it. You know, I just have to kind of work it, you know, drill through it. But it, it lines up fairly decent. Quarter inch bolt, quarter inch drill. Anytime you can get it with this right here, I mean, look, the box is the box is perfect. It doesn't even look like it's ever been opened. So 205 of these gray and pink ones per series. So, and I'm just going to go through and start pushing all these batteries onto uh, onto these racks. So 205 of these. I think this was uh, five was kind of an odd number. So 16 times 13, 208. So like I said, now I'm just moving these along because the way that I'm going to put all these together is across every four of them, there'll be a nickel strip and then there'll be a bus bar, a six gauge solid copper bus bar in between. So there'll be two of them. And then I'm going to have uh, some four amp glass fuses that are going to connect that strip of four to the bus bar. All right, I'm going to start uh, building these up the best I can and I got to try to find somewhere to put them as I go. We'll see what happens. All right, so I did the math. Uh, 11, 1,150 of these here purple cells divided by 14 brought me to 82.1. So we're gonna drop down to 82. I'm gonna take this cell out of there. <laughs> yeah, so 82, 82 purple ones. All right, so here it is. Got them all laid out. See, here's all the gray ones. Gray and pink into the purple, the purple LGs, into the ring batteries, into the 2.2 amp hour modem packs right here. That's what it's gonna look like. Here's a side view. See the different colors. Pretty cool. I like it. And so I'm trying to keep, I'm gonna change those two out, but I'm trying to keep it where these four batteries here, each four batteries are the same. All right, it's on there. Uh, I did not have to use that rubber mallet right there. That's just there for, uh, that's a prop. 
So, all right, this is all the way on. Can't see that, but there's little holes that I pre-drilled everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can't run some bolts through here, try to keep it together. Maybe see if there's like some extra, extra more holes I need to drill in there. All right, I'm gonna go get some, my nuts and bolts and uh, bolt it up, see how well it's gonna stay together. Got like 250 of the black nylon washers. I have 100 stainless steel quarter 20. A bag of 250 three inch quarter 20 thread. I'll put links to all this stuff in the description just for anybody that wants to build a smaller or bigger power wall. And that remember that fits down over top of the over the square at the bottom so that it, it'll catch the uh, <clears throat> the cell holders. And then that goes in like this. Then we get a one of these black washers that goes down. And then a big hole washer. So it looks like I might have to end up like taking these off whenever I go to do my nickel strip, or at least loosen them up a little bit as we go. Get the nickel strip strip around them. All right, so there it is. It's all put together. Now we'll uh, put the lid on this one here, and then we'll just keep on moving on. Eleven bolts in that one battery just to hold it together, but it does. It makes it pretty sturdy. I, I grabbed it and moved it up off the table, brought it down here, set it down. No. So the reason why I'm not using a program like Repacker, doing all the calculations and getting the amp hours right, well, these cells are pretty much just new old stuff. So I tested every one of these and then uh, months later checked again, pulled their, uh, their voltage. While doing that, they all tested about right. All right, so now we're at uh, seven of the, the ring battery cells. All right, so I think it was seven rows minus a, a block of four there. 2,200 amp hour cells. That's a uh, pack of batteries. Getting through these batteries. I just finished these four here. Uh, actually, I need uh, I need one more Sony battery to go right there. But you can see I ran the bolts up through the holders before I put the batteries in there. That way now I don't have to worry about all the bullshit of having to roll them over and get them all lined up. So that's a little easier. I'm gonna have these four and four spots open. Now when I capacity test these and you know, one of them is three amp hours short, whatever. I can pull this back and I can add a couple cells, make sure it's balanced out. And I have to say, it was about half of it, yeah. Feeling pretty good that's about half. There's a, there's a couple racks back there still behind those rows. And you can see what's up here. We're getting there. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm calling it for the night. So I got a little more than half of it done. I miscalculated. I need to get some more of these fat ones, these these here. But I'm gonna need another, that was probably a bag of 100. Well, eight times 11, yeah, that was probably about 100. But we got eight of these done, eight of them. So we're more than halfway there. Uh, you can see that's how they'll be on the shelf like that there a row of 14 of them uh, we'll do the bus bars and whatnot so six more to go not too bad 
all right so here is 10 of them we got 10 of them done looking pretty cool i was thinking about you know would it really look that much better with all the batteries the same color you know i could definitely have enough gray cells i could line the outside but now remember i can't just you know put a single row around the outside i want to keep the group of four cells together so i don't know I'm just keep them like this it's not like they're that vis visible they're going to be up under a shelf You know, so it'll like it's gonna be inside there. I'm gonna try and get this big boy up on this top shelf here. Whew, that thing is so heavy, I'm telling you. And those are the little handles that you get. That's all you get, just one little handle one on each side. Try and pick that big old thing up. So, you know, I'm excited to get this thing turned on, powered up. I even got the little Wi Fi module came with it. Pretty cool, man. So, I'm trying to get this thing up here. And I think I'm gonna double up on the uh, on the shelving here. Try to eliminate this lip. You know, I think I've got an extra shelf for one of my other shelves. But all right, so uh, here's what we got left. Let's see, six. I got one more out there, so six. So I need. I got. It's only three. I only gotta do three more. Yeah, I think I got enough cells. I'm starting to get a little like, oh, did I count them right? Like if I had to tear these all back down again, I'm gonna be upset. I think they're all there, man. This is freaking cool. You know, I wish these were like wired up and I could just go ahead and put that, put seven of these on my, uh, you know, on my little mini power wall that I got going out there now. These lights are being run by solar power. Laptop over there. Sometimes the fan just depends like, you know, a day like, a day like today, I'll definitely run it on solar power because, uh, you know, I'll be charged up before I go to work, it'll be about fully charged. So I need to kind of dump some of that load. Dump some loads, man. All right, there it is, all 14 of them. One up there. Fourteen. And that's how many are left. Those are batteries that I did not count. And uh, those are the one of the those Mobis medical batteries. And I try not to use all those Sony batteries, which I ended up swapping them out with some. Uh... So what we have here is the 2.2 uh, pounds, or it's like one kilogram of uh, pure nickel strip. Link in the description. Stay tuned for the rest of the build. We're gonna finish cutting nickel strip. Start spot welding. Use some of those spot welders from some other videos. You can check those out here. And uh, get this thing built up and take you along. So thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, be ready for them videos to come.